and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a beautiful Thursday, and I know that you are beautiful too. So, with that out of the way, <laughs> hey, let's talk about awkward in awkward intros. This was one. Yes, it was indeed, Mob. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we're gonna be back in playing some modded Minecraft today. Back in going green. And, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of things I'm going to be doing. I'll intro that. I, before I jumped over here, I should have talked about other announcemental Dealy Bob's things. Uh, there will be no stream on Saturday as uh, Christmas stuff coming up. So I'm going to just not stream Saturday morning on the 23rd. And then next week, my schedule is going to be really fluid. I've got some stuff I have to do. Uh, but I have to travel to do it. I've got to check up on my dad's house uh, that's being renovated. I've got, I've talked about it before, I have to go used car shopping. Not a lot of fun, but it needs to get done. And I don't know which days I'm going to be able to get up there and do that. So that's putting the uh, streams next week in flux. So there will be videos on Monday. So... Uh, both Christmas Day and New Year's. Those have already been scheduled, so got content coming. Yay! So, cool. All right, now with that out of the way, let's uh, get into the fun and excitement of the stream. What am I doing here? All right. And as usual, I will be recording for a video, uh, so, you know, when you see the little record light up on the corner, that's what's going on. And welcome back to Going Green here on Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today, and we've got some good things brewing. Or at least we will once we set up some mixers. That's right. I need mixers not just for audio control. Yes, Siri Bob. No, I need them so I can make things like tomato sauce and you know i don't know what else am i doing dough and pie crusts and all sorts of good stuff so let's get this set up and this is what i needed the milk and water for so let's get to it ah yes yep yep this is why this is why <laughs> hmm. speaking of why do i have fluid pipes and stuff stuff that's an interesting question i have some yes there there's definitely some which is good because as i said i'm going to need them all right so let's see now a couple of other things um deep slates i'm gonna need those we'll worry about exactly where that goes here in a minute um I'm going to need some viridium. What is it? That Yeah, viridium. Cool. Need some of that and some of that. So, you know, all of that's good. Now, cool. And I've got my create toolbox and stuff on me. So let's get down here and do things. So the plan here is to put stuff down. All right. Store his toolbox. Check. Create toolbox. Check. Plans. Um, uncheck? I, I... No, I, I vaguely have an idea what I'm doing, and this is... That Alay, I think he fell down the elevator shaft. Or maybe... Possibly that hole. Uh... What, however he got down here, he's now stuck down here, and it's just weird. <clears throat> okay, so step one of many. Um, so what I'm going to do, let's see, we've got... This has been sort of the idea here. Now, I do have one problem. The problem is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an even number thing. This one is seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one I think is eight as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So this one's going to center up nicely. And these other two are not going to be as nice. Oh, I need mixers. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. It'll be fine. Mixer. Okay, I've got one. Cool. So we're going to need a couple of those. All right. And there... Oh, what else am I missing? Oh, a gear. A cog. Okay. Well, I can... I do not have a... All right. Come hither, cogs, my friends. We uh, got jobs for you. All right. Cool. Oh, and I'm going to need some basins because that's how this works. Basin. There's one, two, and three. <clears throat> cool. Let's see. How much andesite do I have? Almost none. That is awesome. Um, cool. Andesite. Just grab that. Just grab a couple of those. And let's get some iron. Let's... I just need some ingots here, so... Two. And we'll grab two more. Perfect. Alright, let me just go get some... Uh, Andesite to alloy cooking up over here because I may need it later and that's going to be sort of important to me. So, okay, so that in there. Good news is this doesn't need to be heated, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, my ear itches something fierce. Okay, and there we go. That should uh, give us all the alloy I need. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. We'll let that mix up. And... Yep, yeah, because we're mixing all the things today. All right. So that's going to go there. If I make sure I'm following this right. It doesn't have to be exact, but I would like it to be similar, right? All right, so we need some shafts. We're going to need some belts. All right, and... All right. Something like that. All right, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right there, we'll put the mixer, okay? And the basin. Actually, we will take that out. We'll put the... And we'll do it like that. Okay, yes, that's going to work out great. Actually, this is going to may work out lovely. Okay. Cool, so that's going to go there. Now, this one, well, let's get these in place first, and then we'll talk about other stuff. Okay, so this will go here, and then this one will go here. Okay. Something like that, but we're going to put the basin. So this one go in the middle. This one, if I do the same thing I did on this side, it's one, two, three, and then four. So one, two, three, and then four puts the basin there. You know, I think given the way these basins are going to look, putting it there is not too bad. 
All right, and then do I have andesite funnels? Not with me. Okay. That's fine. Tis fine, tis fine. Funnel? Nope, apparently not. All right, so these guys, I oh, kelp. Do I not have kelp? I do not have kelp. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. I guess we need to quick take a quick detour to get some kelp. Do I have any kelp here? I don't, but we're going to uh we're going to grab an allay. Actually, we might grab two alays, but uh, let's hang on. Go down this way. Okay. Hi. Tell you what. Let's. Can, okay. Hey, good. He's sort of up there. I might have just trapped him. That's cool, too. Right, where'd it go? Now that one's up there, but I think if I come down here... Yeah, see, he found me. Cool. Now, where's your friend? I had to. I had to. Where'd the... Oh, the other one's still downstairs. Okay, that I can deal with. Come with me. Right, down we go. Other guys over here somewhere. There he is. Cool. Well, you guys come with me. We've, we're gonna have we're gonna have plants. How's it going, Carp? Hope you're having a fabulous day today. Looks like night is falling. Oh, this fine Thursday. And you know there are only you know what five shopping day five five shopping days till Christmas. Yeah. Not that that particularly matters, but uh, come here, man. Look, dude, I'm right here. Yeah, come, come with me. These are lays, man. It's probably more trouble than it's worth, but how did your Christmas shopping? Nice. Okay. Come here. We're just going to take this door with us. Yep. I've done mine too, so. And by I, I mean my wife, and done it too means, yes, she actually did do the Christmas shopping. <laughs> okay. Now, let's go, gang. We're going to go kelp farming. <sighs> That silly Alay. Come here. I'll tell you. Okay, let's this way. Come on. Here we go. This isn't going to be hard, guys. All right. Nice. Cool. I'm going to grab these Alays, and I'm going to use them to help me uh, harvest stuff. You know, I can't say I would have particularly liked the copper golem either. So, you know, it's, I don't know. All right, here. You're going to you're going to do kelp. Kelp. Come here. I want to kelp you. Yes, you. Why can I not make you kelp? I, do I have to take what's out of his hand first? Yes, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. We've got a friend in me. Nice. 
That gave us three bad choices. I don't know. You know, delay actually can be really helpful in the right circumstances. This is one of them. Kelp is annoying. I actually have plans to make a kelp farm because I need it anyway for the food. But it's just such a pain to gather after you dig it up on the from the shore, right? Or from the floor of the water, wherever. This way, the kelp will get picked up by the LAs and, you know. Okay. They definitely sing a little song. Cool. All right. Come here, guys. Actually, rather than bring them inside, I'm just going to leave them there. They can they can spend time with the rabbit. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure any of them were necessarily bad choices. So the, the LAs are, are useful in certain situations and you can actually do some fun stuff with uh, item sorting with LAs. Like you can, LAs can sort non-stackable items, for example. Which is uh, actually pretty cool. All right, let's go and get those smoking. Go pick up the andesite alloy we threw in the mixer a moment ago. Okay. There we go. Cool. So now we can go ahead and craft up, well, a, a number of tunnels, or funnels, actually. Because I will call them the wrong thing until the end of time. It's just how that goes. All right. Okay. Ow. My side itches. All right. <sighs> so this is going to be the basic setup. Stuff is going to come through here. We'll get, feed, get fed into the basin. The basin will mix whatever's going in there. Oops, I forgot to put the mixers in these two. Let's uh, do that. Okay. So the mixers will, will get with the mixy mixy there. Now, I think the plan is going to be, one of these is going to be milk. I'm going to pump milk into it. The other one I'm going to pump water into. And the last one, which I think will be this one, I'm not going to pump any, anything into. It's just going to be there. Okay. Which should be fine. Should be totally fine. So let's get some, uh, get all of the stuff spinning. And then I'll see what I can do about getting um, getting all of the fluid pumped over here where it needs to go. But, yeah. I don't know. I think the, the mob vote gets overhyped. You know, I think we too many people just see it like it's some life-changing game, you know, make or break you know, deal, and it's just not. <laughs> all right, so cool. So that's all going to go that way and that way and that way, and we'll spin it, and everything's going to be lovely. Um, so, yeah, it's like this year's mob vote was, there was nothing important in any of it. It just was not that big a deal, and the, the mobs they gave us were pretty low impact, you know? So, but a lot of people were treating it like it was the end of Minecraft as we know it, you know? All right. That's going that way. Let's make ourselves a little bit of room here. And it, I and I treat sort of the delays the same way. I've never really used delays. <laughs> this, I think, was actually the very first time I've done it. Um, but it was, it was useful for this one situation. So, hey, I'm happy. F okay, so let's see. How do I want to do this? I can run, I can run a belt. That's probably going to be the easiest way to get power over here. And then, yeah, let's, let's do that. 
So we're going to belt this way. So coming off, let's go right to about here. Okay. So we'll go full power that way. And then I think this is going to be... something. I guess I could... I don't want to handle this. I guess I could just take this and just run power this way and we'll just tap this main power line. Okay. That'll work. And I'm going to have to deal with power here anyway because I have to get... I have to get the pumps power, so that's going to be its own special breed of fun. So, you know. Because it turns out unpowered pumps don't pump anything. They don't even pump up the jam, which is kind of disappointing, you know? I like a good well-pumped jam. And, you know, if I don't provide power to the pumps, it doesn't do it. So, I guess let's uh, make sure this works. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need some vertical gearboxes, almost certainly. So we'll do it this way. Let's go ahead and take that out. Grab a vertical gearbox. Go on. Well, other than the fact that's a uh, not a vertical gearbox, we'll try uh, correcting that. There we go. So that's going to go there. I think I'll do the same thing right here. So we'll put a vertical gearbox going that way. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Vertical gearbox. Okay. Awesome. And let's grab a couple of cogs because those are going to be important in the near future. All right. So I've pulled power coming off the uh, lines that are underneath the honey factory, you know, the, our nice little sugar re reactor. And I'm going to run some power up this way. And I've got the same type of thing here. I've just got some vertical gearboxes coming up. Okay, so, we've, so this should give us some nice power for those mixers. Now, the one thing I am going to have to do is probably... Well, I do have to get all of these things spinning in the right direction. So let's take a look and see what which of these is going to be the right way to spin it. And then maybe I'll just connect all three of the belts, chunk, 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 so everything is going together. So I don't have to worry about messing with all of this other stuff. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. I'm gonna let's try. Let's try this one first. Yes, and that is indeed going the right way. Perfect. Um, let's get some chain drives. But yeah, it's like chain is not spelled with an e. Thank you. That's probably more than enough, which is fine, because that's all that I had. But yeah, it's like the mob vote this year. It's like, yeah, nothing is too crazy. Oops, dog armor is not the most exciting thing in the world. We can test it. It's now in the Java beta, which is cool. Okay, so that's all going the right direction. And that's all going in the right direction. All right. Wunderbar. Cool. Now, the other thing I have to do is get storage hooked up, but we'll deal with that in a moment. All right. So the first thing I'm going to need is to sleep, I think. I know. I'm underground. I'm safe. I don't have to worry about phantoms, but I'm going to sleep obsessively anyway, because in all honesty, that's not much different from real life, and I, I really like to sleep. So, 
We'll do that, and now let's see what we can do about the rest of this. Those are in the wrong place. Well, I've just realized I've done something stupid. So, I have to get the uh, pipes. All right, I have to take a fluid pipe and connect it to this, uh, this basin. And I just built these suckers up with the shafts in the way because I am full of, you know, the dumb. <sighs> okay, it's not that big a deal. I can move everything over. It's just annoying. <laughs> oh, man. So annoying. All right. Um, all right. So we'll just bring this this way. All right. So I did that wrong, but that's not surprising. All right. Vertical gear. Vertical gearbox. Thank you. Okay. All right. Vertical gearbox goes there, and then that goes there. All right. And then we get another one of those, and... Perfect. It doesn't matter which way these mixers spin, they just spin. So, so that's low. Okay. No. Yes. No. I brought power in over here. So, I mean, I could. I've got room right here. I could move that over. You know, what I'm going to do, this is, no, this is fine. I'm going to uh, change my plans, but I think the plans are going to work a little bit better just because of size and things. Okay, so this is going to go here, and then we'll take that out. Our vertical gearbox there. Where's my wrench? Thank ya. Okay. And we'll just slide this up this way. There we go. All right, wonderful. All right, and we'll do it this way. Does it make as much sense? Well, to run this the one that much further? No, does not make sense at all, but we're gonna do it anyway. Because this, this section here, is the short one. Both of these are eight blocks, right? So power has been re re uh, power has been rerouted, and I was originally going to put the non-fluid one down at the end, but the way these things are shaped, right? This one is eight blocks wide. This one is seven blocks wide, and this one is eight blocks wide. So I decided. Let's go ahead and just take the eight block wide ones as the fluid ones and the one without can be here. Now, it's going to be a little bit annoying running something over here to uh, fill this up. But you know what I might do? If I make this one water, I could just set up a little fl water pump over here back behind this wall and not even touch that one over there. It'll be a little sneaky water tank. I can live with that. I think that's going to work. How's it going, Lauren? Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. I hope your day is going well. Okay. So, yeah. We've, we'll do that. So, that means... Yeah, we're going to have all sorts of weirdness happening here. Let's do something a little bit something. I was just thinking of how I wanted to get stuff onto these, and that's I'm not sure I I like my options based off of what I've done. <laughs> 
It's like, um, um, did I really do this the right way? <laughs> I don't know. This one's easy. I could. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew these ones were going to be a little bit of a challenge. See, over on the other side, I cheated. And I cheated not by anything intentional. It's just I followed the shape of the little valley that was here. And that offset my machines. Okay. It wasn't an intentional offset that was just, oh, yeah, that's just how the area was shaped. And I decided to stick with it. This one is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. But shouldn't be too bad. Because what I'll do then is I'll put something here. Yeah. Or those cool. Well, my cat is disagreeing with my plans again. I I keep telling him that I'm the Minecrafter, and he's just a cat. But he disagrees with me. So you know, we just gotta get on with our lives, and you know, maybe he'll listen at some point. All right. All right. So we'll set another. Actually, I think maybe for my own, for aesthetic reasons, this may go here. Okay. And then for this one, yeah, we'll go here. Because basically the stuff is going to feed down this way onto the belt and then go. And then I can do the same thing over here. All right, that that can make sense, I hope. Now the font, let's, I'm actually kind of curious. Do I have um, gearboxes? I do. If I were to put this here, does that rotate the right way? It does not, perfect. Oops. Do that a lot. All right. So I have to put it on this side, which is fine. I can, I can do that. This was my old mine. Um, still a big hole in the ground. I know everyone's shocked. You know, mine is a big hole in the ground, but it's true. It is one hundred percent true. Mines are are in fact big holes in the ground, and. Uh, Okay, cool. So that's going to go that way. And we'll do the same thing here, I think. Your box goes there like that. Yep. And then this one. Yeah, just like that. Oh, perfect. Glad I totally planned to do it this way because that's that's absolutely was planned and, and stuff. And yeah, the, the plan. I, I Yeah, definitely. You better believe I'm following the, the plan because I said that there was a plan and yeah, no, wait, yeah, no, yes. Okay, we'll, we'll go with it. All right. Anyway, so this is where stuff is going to go to get dropped off. We'll get uh, other stuff, the pickup systems in a bit. Okay. So this is fine. I think we're done with that stuff for the moment all right except for the fact that i'm not this is wonderful okay this is this is where my mouse starts flipping out okay all right so i think that we're gonna pull from the milk Means I have to get underneath all of this. Smooth pearl stock. Smooth. All right. All right. Let's let's. <laughs> I've given myself a problem. Apparently, um, I have to get to the milk, which is all the way over here. 
water. Milk is actually this tank right here. So I kind of dig under all of this stuff while still giving myself room to get to the, the chocolate and the honey. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a dig. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. The only potential problem is going to be getting power here and also lighting up this area without torches. So let's go find some torches and then continue this dig. I've got a torch around here somewhere. It's a lovely torch, I know. Okay, there's only four of them. Okay, that, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Happy late birthday to you, Frog Hopper. Well, happy late birthday. Birthdays are one of those things that eh, you don't mind too much when they're late. Okay, so there's, there are the tanks. Okay, and there's some power, which I want to not mess with. That's honey. That's the milk. Okay. Now I could come out of the bit right there. I'm going to actually come out of the middle just because I feel better about life if I do that. I know. It's silly, but... Okay. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a little... Uh-oh. What redstone did I break? Oh. Hang on, I go, f I go fix my door. It's like, why do I have redstone here? Because I have a, had a sneaky little... Uh, Might be able to. I don't have a stair on me. That's fine. Um, all right, fine. We'll just go down there. That's all right. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll just deal with it. Torch. That one's important. Don't break that. Ah, yeah. Birthdays are fun. My son just had a birthday. Just. Uh, Last week? A week ago today, I think. And my daughter's got a birthday here in a week or so. And my other daughter's got a birthday in January. Birthdays happen a lot. And they can be really cool. All right. <clears throat> We're going to bring this this way. And I'm going to give myself some room here because I think I can do some magic and get a pump in here, pulling power off of this line. Okay. Now, I, that is milk, right? Yes. Sweet. Not as sweet as the honey, but still. All right. And then I want to bring this down this way. We'll come down one more. Probably a couple more. All right. Nice. In fact, if I make that a gear, I could put a pump right there. Oops. Well, that didn't work. Um... Do not put a pump right there. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. So this is going to come down. Got power there I can't go through. So I can't put the pump there. Um, And that has to be there to power that dealy bob. Oh, yeah. We are rocking this. Okay. Um. Let's just run the, we'll get the plumbing in place and then we'll figure out where all the pumps go. All right. Cool. So I want to be sure I can see that since I won't be able to put a pump in that slot. 
Um, right. So. Okay. Yeah. To make this work. We're going to put a pump right here. Going up. And then we'll... I, this is called brute force. But it works. Alright. Nice. Now, nothing's going to pump that way because... I don't have... Uh, there isn't enough room. Or there isn't enough uh, stuff. It's pulling... It's pulling too far is what the the thing is, and I know words. All right. So we can basically only pull about 16, I think, blocks. So this is going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 is going to be right about here. I might have to move that a little bit, but 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Sweet, I'm going to need two pumps. Cool. No, that, that's absolutely fine. Other than the fact that, that is facing the wrong way. I can do this. Watch me. There we go. Right, so if I were to pull off. Okay, I know how to do that. We'll just uh, get ourselves an encased chain drive. Chase chain drive goes there. And there, like that. Cool. And then I am stuck. Cool. All right. So then what we do here is we get ourselves a handy dandy pumps. Yeah. Okay. Pump go there. And then like that. Okay. So nice. I think what I'm going to do Do I want to give myself more pumping action? I think I do. I mean, that might not have been the way to put it, but we're definitely going to be pulling stuff this way. So, all right, and boom. All right. Sweet. Ah, well, there it is. We now have milk pumping into this mixer. Now, what we'll be doing is we'll be pumping um, wheat flour into this so we can get, what are we getting out of this? Pie crust. Flour plus milk equals crust, apparently. So that'll be that bit. But the milk is done. So now the next thing to do is going to be water. And... Like I said, I am going to cheat this hard because I can just set up a, a little cheeky water storage tank back here. So let's get all of that set up. Got a lot of stuff to do this weekend, JS. That makes sense. The weekend before Christmas makes a lot of sense. It's part of the reason I'm not streaming on Saturday. All right, so I need some fluid tanks. Cool. And... Da, 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 da. Oh, do I have water buckets? I have regular buckets. Let's just... Search that for the flu, but we won't find it because we were vaccinated. Okay. Yay, vaccines or something. All right. Cool. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to pull water out this way, or we're going to send water up this way. 
Okay, now we've got power right here, so we're just going to take advantage of that. And we'll put a pump in here somewhere. Just all this stuff you have to clean and organize the office. Oh, yeah. So sister-in-law can move her work up. 3D printer needs to be replaced. Oh, man. And then, oh, set up a, a new server. Fun. Oh, servers are cool. I like servers. All right, now... I really don't need water storage. That's the the weird bit here. Okay, so if I put a pump here going this way, right? I don't need water storage. All I need is an infinite water source. Let's actually do this with brick because I think that'll make things a little bit easier to see. Ah, no two of your three node goal. Well, that makes sense. I just got uh, sent quotes in for new servers at work. And yeah, they cost more than a car. Gotta love enterprise grade hardware. All right, so that's gonna go there, and then this is gonna go here, and then. And we have water. Well, there it is. There's our cheeky little water source. Uh, <laughs> seriously cheating, but it works. This this will absolutely work. So just uh, cover this up and no one has to know we're not pumping water from the tank over there. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's... Deception is normal in kitchens. It's all about deception in kitchens, right? You think that's food you're eating? Oh, no, it's it's artificial soy byproduct. It's not even the soy, it's the byproduct of soy. <sighs> and this is how the Impossible Burger is made. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Stuff that goes in pennies, yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right. Cool, so that's going to be doing that business. So we got water, this is not, and this is milk. Okie dokie artichoke. Cool, so the water one is going to be... I can pump wheat into it. Wheat plus water gives farmer's delight dough. Wheat flour plus water gives create mod dough. I think they're compatible, but I guess we'll find out. And then, um, well, and they create, well, the wheat flour plus milk. Create mod wheat flour plus milk here gives us pie crust. So we're going to have to do some tests. All right. So wheat. Okay. So we've got some wheat. So let's do some tests. Am I going to move beyond 10 gig at work? I don't need to yet. I don't have the, we've got like 40 gig between some of our switches, but even that's a little bit of an overkill. But our storage network doesn't even need uh, 10 gig. So, all right, so this is the mill. So let's get, we're gonna grab some of this. All right, so that'll grind up. And what we should get is flour out the other side. Uh, how do I get to the other side? I don't know. Maybe I need to ask the chicken. The chicken has all of the knowledge of how to cross roads and stuff. 
be nice. You could teach the deer that live in town because those things are stupid. I need more users. No. Users aren't the issue. Because it's the back end storage for all of our stuff. And we just don't move that many bits. Okay. Tweets. Flower. Okay. And, oh, I even have some Farmer's Delight dough. Even better. Okay. So. So we're going to try this. So the recipe for pie crust it comes from Create Mod. Okay. Let me just pull it up so you can see it. For pie crust, it's... Well, farmers, uh, yeah, the farmers' delight pie crust is, yeah, wheats. Apparently, it's just wheats plus milk. Okay, I was thinking it was wheat flour, but hey, that's okay. Unless, let me just make sure I'm not. Yeah, no, that seems okay. So I might not even need the flour, but otherwise, that. Might be good. All right, well, let's do some testing and see what we get. Now, it's possible I was toying with something here, too, but it just wants wheat, huh? Not even flour? Yeah, unmill the flour. Well, I've got wheat, so that's not going to be that big a deal. I just thought... I just thought there was something else. Um, why would... Why, why, why am I thinking from the blaze cake base, cinder flour and that stuff, but that's not, all right, well, cool, I guess, man, why was I thinking the flour did stuff? Now I'm confused. Okay, that makes dough. Oh yeah, wheat flour plus milk. Okay. So this is why it didn't show up in the crafting recipe. It's because it's a mixing recipe. The flour plus milk is the pie crust. If I were doing it in a crafting grid, I could use flour, but because I'm doing it in a mixer, I could do flour plus milk and make crust. I could also do flour plus water and make dough. So we're going to play around here just a little bit and see what is going to work. Oh, yeah, this should be all sorts of fine, right? So flour plus milk is pie crust. And I want to try a couple of things. I want to see flour... I got to... Yeah. I had some other questions, but we'll go with this. All right. So. Okay, so here's the deal. We th throw some flour on there. And did it. Oh, it's, it's not one. It's three, two, three. Okay, so that mixes up and it spits out and... We have ourselves a pie crust. Awesome. So that is absolutely working. Cool. And then in theory, we can create dough by taking some flour here. Right? And then that gets mixed and boom. There's our dough. Okay. That's create mod dough, which is slightly different from farmer's delight dough which theoretically I can use them both to, to do. Yeah, I can use them interchangeably. We'll deal with that problem in a minute. But for now, I think I can start setting up some delivery things for all of this good stuff. Now, you know, I set up this mixer. And I think I might have, I might have a programming problem. 
All right, well, we'll we will burn that bridge in a minute. Let's get storage. How I should have storage coming right out from underneath the the honey there. So let's let's dig down and take a look. All right, because yeah, if we come under here and come in this way. Yeah, if I duck under... Yeah, look, right there. Just gonna go ahead and come in this way. Yeah, see, there's the... That's the storage cable. So I should be able to run this... Yeah, right over here and be able to tap it for all sorts of good stuff. Awesome. So, let's go get some inventory space and then we'll set up some cables. Okay, so that's all going to go in there. Don't gravel, don't dirt. Don't need most of the stone. Yeah, okay, that's probably fine. I'm going to take my sweater off here, too. Started to warm up in my house here now just a little bit. Oh, I was feeling... We had a... Minor cooking mishap this evening. We were making a uh, bacon cheeseburger roll-up, which was delicious, I might, I must say. But as it was cooking, there was some uh, liquidy goodness from it. You know, it was like onion juices and melty cheese juices and all that stuff that managed to get itself dripping out of the uh, roll-up under the bottom of the oven and started to burn and set off our smoke detector, which sucked. So we had to open the window and blow out a bunch of the smoke. And yeah, that was got a little chilly in the house for a while when we did that. It's what happens when it's below zero and you or below freezing and you open the house up, you know, it turns out winter, not typically the time one opens Windows. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of things here, I think. Um, let's actually make this a little bit longer. I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference, but no, we're not gonna be doing that much. We'll stop it there. All right. Cool, so let's get the storage network going here. Storage network doesn't go that way. I don't know where all those went, but they're not where I need them. There they are. Um, I can click on the, please? Please to be clicking. Thank you. All right, we'll just duck out under here. So, yeah, that'll be great. I can actually run this. Let's just run it directly underneath this. Those of you, all of you who deal with home electronics and want to run your electricity directly under your water, uh, yeah, it's totally a thing you could do. Okay. Yep, I've got to go underneath my little cheeky little water source here, so. Okay. Okay, is that connected? Yes, it is. Cool. That'll be perfect here, and I'll be able to set up a collection system right there. That'll be great. Yeah, it didn't break the oven. Yeah. Well, it wasn't an issue. It didn't, yeah, you know, get ourselves a nice little uh, 
outlet. You know, and then this is, these are cables made of wood, so I'm sure water won't affect them at all in any bad ways, you know. All right, so, yeah, I do need to run the cable this way, but, okay. All right, nice, so, okay. So somewhere down here, probably right under there. Okay. You know what's really cool? It's being able to get to your stuff. All right. Nice. Coolness has been achieved. Okay, now I'm going to have to run the stuff this way because I have to get, get it over there. But we'll uh, deal with that for a minute. Okay, that's going to go that way. Yeah, and we'll deal with whatever comes out of that. All right, nice. And I'm stuck, which is cool. <laughs> All right, let's do something silly. Dirt's going away. I know it's grass, but it's the final insult, you know? All right, so we'll just set up some hoppers underneath all of these, right? Set a barrel up right there. Okay, cool. So now anything that I throw in there will get chucked into the main storage. Perfect. Now I have a an easy dump box. Okay, then let's do the same thing over here. Uh, should be the middle of that. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Aha! And other words of excitement. Okay, so that's going to go there. And then, oops. Yeah, that goes there, and then it's there. Cool. Now that's working. And then the same thing over here there and we stick a barrel in there. Cool. All of the output is outputting. That's good. You want your storage to put out. Um, I was going to go somewhere with that joke, but then I realized that might not be the familiest of friendly ways to put things, so we're going to not. <laughs> and let's just bring this Okay, see, I go with the, like I'm about to drop a family unfriendly joke, and Minecraft just crashes right out. I think it took offense. I, I really think it did. And, you know, sometimes you just have to make the joke, even if Minecraft is going to crash on you. It It's a thing. Sometimes you just have to do it. Anyway, while that restarts... Hope y'all are doing great. Yeah, the audio is crackling too. Yeah, I know. It'll do that. It'll, um, it's here. If I, sure. turn off the HDMI sounds for a minute. Okay. It'll still crackle just a little bit, unfortunately. Until it, uh, until Minecraft starts up and everything settles down. Basically, I have, I've, I'm running a, tw a two PC setup, right? I'm playing Minecraft on one and streaming off another. And I'm pulling on the audio through HDMI and my capture card. Unfortunately, the way that, comes in through the um, into my go XLR it's through a digital audio right you know the one of the the fiber audio plugs and every once in a while it 
uh, when things restart, it really freaks things out. Okay, so we're going to have stuff going that way. I do not want to sort out inventory cables. So we'll get rid of that. But Okay, so the audio should be... It may still crackle just a little bit, but should start settling down here in a minute. All right. Uh, did the same thing again. I got to crouch. Okay. All right, so that'll go that way. Now, what I want to put on here... Right, is the wheat flower that would be this guy it's gonna come out of that okay and then I'm gonna fall down this hole which is also awesome all right nice there we go all right actually we need the one radio for the moment the radio link on here this guy on Receive. Okay. And basically, if... What am I making? Pie crusts. Right, so that was the flour. This milk. I put the pie crust away, didn't I? Well, that seems silly. Crusty, crusty. There we go. I am done with all the fluid stuff, though, so that can all go away. Yeah, this is something I know I'm not going to need a lot of, but... All right. So this is now set. I've got a wireless link. If it's looking for... If I get a shaft and... Uh, pie crust, it'll stop dumping out this guy, which is looking for wheat flour. It'll only export wheat flour. And that was the test we just did a moment ago, where the wheat flour will come through here and end up getting milked up and into pie crust. Awesome. So I guess the next couple of things I need to do is actually set up all of the controllers for wheat flour, because I have to grind that stuff up. And pie crust. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. And then I'll have all the pie crust production I'm going to need. And then I get to figure out a little bit of something else for all of this stuff. I think... Uh, oh, right. I want to be able to dump flour into this and make dough. Which is also going to be very easy. So... You know, a little bit of uh, pa paperwork here to do, but we'll get that done. Yeah, because I don't know how many things I'm going to have to dump in here, but shouldn't be too many. Oh, I decided not to get another radio because, hey, why would I need a second one? I, I'm only setting up the one dealy bob. Okay, that's cool. All right, so that's going to go there. It's in receive mode, shaft, and what am I creating? I'm creating create mod dough. Floppity choppity. And this thing takes wheat flour. Okay. Same thing. So all I have to do now is wire up the storage should be super easy to do because it should be right down here. Awesome. So I, I've said it on multiple occasions. Create mod is 90% paperwork. It's figuring out where everything is going to go. How are you routing all of your stuff? Okay. All right, so 
goody goody gumdrops, I suppose. All right, nice. So the good news is we've got some of that stuff. So controllers, where do I want to put those controllers? I think I want to put them upstairs. So let's meander upstairs and do that. So I need to set up controllers for pie crust and dough. I kind of think I'm going to, I might put dough. All right, do I have some, I do have some farmer's delight dough too. I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, let's just, Dough. All right, so the create mod dough. Obviously, I can make slime balls. Um, cooking. Yeah, I can use the create mod dough to to craft dumplings. And I can use the... Um, yeah, and I can use the regular dough too. All right, and then... Okay, that cuts into pasta... It's the same thing. Can I do, um, yeah, the create dough can do pasta too. So I'll just do the create dough. I don't think it's going to make any difference at all to anything other than, yeah, I can cook that dough or I can cook. Yeah. Okay. Nope. So I will just be happy with the, uh, create dough and this so this one's going to be uh redundant sorry I'm, I'm taking notes over here so i won't worry about that one and okay cool all right so let's go set up some signaling for the dough and the pie crust Because, yeah, because what we could do is once we create the dough, we could actually set things up to run the dough through the furnace and cook up bread, which we'll need for all sorts of good stuff. All right, so let's hop up here and, yeah, we'll set this up in the warehouse. I wonder if I have bread up here. That's an interesting question. I suppose I can always craft it. Bread. Oh, I do have bread. Cool. All right. So. Yeah, we are almost out of uh, stuff here on this one. Okay. Well, that's fine. I think. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put bread and, and pie crust. So bowls and bottles, I need it. We'll put bread and pie crust over here. Do I have inventory space? I do now. Also, I don't need the buckets anymore, so we're good. Uh, let's grab some signs. All right, so I also am going to need some wheat flour, so that's going to have to go on one of these two, so. So bread and pie crust. Excuse me. All right. So this one is crust. All right. And I don't think we're going to need a huge amount of pie crust. So we'll set this up to actually we'll make this uh Two stacks. Okay. 128 pie crusts. That should be more than enough. And I'm definitely holding things I don't need to hold. Okay. Yeah, let's just hold them on to those. Okay. And then this one is going to be bread which will be the same thing. It's going to be uh, 
128. 28. Okay. Cool. So it's not going to need to take too much here. All right. So this one. Dink and dink and pie crust and bread. Okay. Nice. All right. So those are all set up. Which is great. And the next thing I'm going to need is the wheat flour. Now, I suppose it would have been really convenient. Oh, dough. Aha. Now I'm going to be doing. Let's check this, make sure this is right. But I'm actually going to be doing create mod dough. So we're going to change that and then this is going to be create mod dough i am not going to need that much dough let's dial that down by a factor of 10 here shall we um probably yeah okay thousand no let's do All right, we'll do 256. That's that's like four stacks of dough, which should be fine. Okay. All right, it's good. So dough is now set up. But we don't have flour, so... <laughs> One billion dough! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, not a bad... Bread, bed, same thing, really. Um, they both are sort of warm and comforting. And um, don't even get me started on the difference between bed spreaders and bread spreaders. They're just... Dr. Seuss went into that really well, and I don't think I need to expand on that any further. Okay. Awesome. What did I just need? I did... Should not have done that. His eye was focused in the wrong window. Okay. You know, these things happen. All right, so that's all rabbit and stuff. It is a little bit disappointing. Sorry, I'm just going to free cam over here. If I had planned a little bit, I could have put the flower over here. I mean, I still can. I still can. I just have to uh, bring it back this way a little bit. But I think I wanted to save this space. Yeah, here so that I could um, maybe do something over here. I guess I don't have to. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from expanding this this way any. I feel better about myself if I do so. And it's really important that you feel better about yourself as part of your build. So it's just, uh, yeah. Okay, kelp I have set up, but I'm not doing anything with it. Carrots, potatoes, just to make sure I don't have a flower something or other set up already. That would be awkward. Okay. I think we're good. So let's get some uh, pillars here. And do I have redstone lamps? I do have a couple of those cool beans. Okay. All right. No, this is uh, going to be wonderful. One, two, plop. There, and there, and there. Cool. And then we'll just... Uh, wheat flour. I think I want to just put a... Create mod 
on there just just because it's in case I decide I really do need the Farmer's Delight flower. You know, I can go get it. <sighs> I need... Um, I forgot what they call them. Level emitters. I need two of those. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay, okay. Oh, well, I guess uh, that torch doesn't need to live there anymore. I don't know where it's living, but it's not there. Okay. Cool. So one, two, right there. All right. Cool. So level emitters there and there. All right, so this one was flower. Okay, which will, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do 512 flower. Okay. All right, so that and where's our Flower, perfect. Oh, um, Farmer's Delight doesn't have a flower. It just has dough. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. Nice. Okay, cool. So. All right, well, that's lovely. <laughs> Okay, so the control systems are all set up. We've got flower set up over there and way over there, we've got our pie crust and bread controller set up. So now I just need to head down back to the factory and make sure that everything is set up to actually create that. I think we're set on the flower and I think we're set on the dough. So the next thing I need to do, actually, I know we're set on the pie crusts and the dough. The flour actually needs to go through that millstone over there. So I'll double check that I've got that set up. And then we should be pretty good on that stuff anyway. Yeah, where things are going to get complicated is... The other thing I have to mix, and that's tomato sauce. Now, all of this other stuff has taken one ingredient plus whatever is in the mixer or the mill or whatever. Excuse me. Tomato sauce needs a bowl. Okay, so that's rice and stuff. Okay. All right, so this wheat flour. And then this one is, okay. Yeah, I do need to set this up. So I've programmed this radio for the wheat flour and this filter is gonna be wheat and now we connect it here, plop. And yeah, so the wheat's gonna start going. And so we're actually gonna end up having fun here. So the flour is gonna go through there and then here comes the flour here getting mixed into dough, right? So this is how the automation chain works, y'all. And this is why create mod is awesome. Is you just take one step at a time and you can get all sorts of fun stuff. Some of that, actually, if I zip over here too, um, we might start seeing some of that for pie crust as well, but yeah, good stuff. Very good stuff. The reason we may not be seeing the pie crust right away actually has to do with um, hopper speeds because I'm I'm delivering the dough as uh, basically at a hopper speed. Also, I don't have this hooked up, which probably is an issue too. 
So, yeah. Ah, so this is great. So we've got pie crust going. Got that going. All right. The next thing we're going to need is tomato sauce. And that is going to be a special breed of complicated. Okay. All right. Well, that's doing its thing. Yep. And our milk still. Yeah, you can see the milk is going down here just a little bit. Well, once it uh, if it gets down low enough, then it will start milking the cows, and everything's going to be lovely. All right, so let's go ahead and dump this stuff in there because I'm done with that. I'm also done with the bread. Oh, hey. Should we go set up bread? Let's go set up bread. Because, you know, why not? Yeah, okay. Let's see. I've got radios, got a pipe, got... We, okay. I think I have everything I need over here. Yeah, because this is going to be... Yeah, it's this one. All right. Now this one, I already set up a bunch of hoppers here. So what's going to come out of this is oops, the dough that I put in the back in the, the storage because I was done with it. That's how I knew I wasn't done with it is I put it away thinking I was done with it. You know, it's, uh, it's a thing. It's absolutely a thing. <sighs> All right. Okay. So, let's see. I need dough. Create my dough. I also need, like, regular dough. So, if anyone wants to donate over to on Kofi, you know, that would be awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to casually just drop that uh, tip link into... Uh, chat or something <laughs> or not you know that's okay too all right so what we need is a radio cool and this one's it's gonna be on receive of course and we are going to be receiving on that one awesome and Bread, also awesome. And then coming out of this guy is dough. Boink. Okay, awesome, yep, yeah, and there we go. There's the dough going and getting turned into bread. Oh, perfect. Oh yes, oh yes, the bakery is now open. Since we've got dough going now, set this up for the bread feeder, or bread signal, and now all of this dough is coming out here through the oven and getting cooked into delicious, delicious bread. Why is bread important? I'll tell you, hamburgers. That's why bread is important. Hamburgers, sandwiches, uh, wraps. You need bread for all the things, and we are definitely making bread for all the things. All right. Let's double check. Should be seeing the bread stocks rise. Yep. Yeah, there, there it goes. Cool. Yeah, we are definitely in good shape there. All right, so now I'm just going to stash a little bit of bread over here somewhere. Oh, I've got some, or a little wheat, just in case I kind of need it for something. We'll just stash it. All right, nice. So now, let's see if I've got some tunnels. 
Okay, I do. Wonderful. That's going to make this a little bit easier. All right. Because, yeah, okay. Time is running. Definitely running. But it's okay for now. All right. <sighs> So I need to be sure that they come out, All right? The last thing I need to put in here is tomato sauce because tomato sauce is used in lots of things, right? Uh, let's try spelling it correctly. Right, tomato sauce is used on pasta and more pasta. It's also used in fish stew, right? Yeah, pasta with meatballs, fish stew, and pasta with mutton. So, I definitely need to uh, be able to cook up some tomato sauce. The problem with tomato sauce is how you make it, okay? It's tomatoes and a bowl put into a mixer, okay? It's not just a single item like the bread and stuff was. So, what I have to do is I have to time this right so I get two tomatoes in a bowl? Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a mess. Uh, so, let's see if I can figure something out here. Now, the reality is I think this is about the only thing that's going to need the this mixer. Everything else, I'm going to be using mixers and things, but I think I'm going to be using dedicated mixers for them. So, yeah, this it, it's going to be an interesting challenge. Not a hard challenge, I think, but interesting. All right, so let's do... Yeah, we're going to do it this way. Uh, that's going to turn. Please turn the right way. Thank you. All right, now... See, that's spinning the wrong way. So, so this is going to come here. Let's get ourselves a couple of mechanical belts. All right. Now, what I need to do is we're going to set up. First, let's make sure this is all rotating correctly. So let's see, do I have a, Ooh, I don't, cool. Let's go craft up a couple of gearboxes. I need gearboxes. I need gearboxes. All right, that'll work. All right. So the plan hoppity 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 is to take our happy dappy little gearbox all right so everything's flowing this way cool okay yeah so here's how this is going to work i'm going to set up some tunnels here now what we'll do here on the back side is we'll set up some of these uh, inventory hoppers, okay? And then what I'll do is I'm going to feed bowls out of one and tomatoes out of the other two. And then the other catch with this is we're going to be set we're going to set this to synchronized inputs so that we always get the same number of things going out each of these. So let me go get some tomatoes and some bowls and we'll set the filters and uh, see if we can make this work. Okay. Yes, I think we can do it. I think should be easy. Tomatoes, I need two of them. Thank you and bowls 
Yep, just need one of them. Okay. All right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll send bowl out here. We'll set tomatoes coming out here and here. Right? And we're going to, yeah, synchronize the inputs. I think this is gonna work. Yeah, so that will have to come in equally. So tomato, tomato, and bowl. Okay. Cool. Now, locking this to be sure it stops spitting out stuff is going to be fun. But uh, shouldn't be ridiculous because it's redstone and redstone's not overly challenging, right? Okay, so I think, no, I've got to put this up one more. All right, redstone, grab some redstone, and it's gonna go over here. All right, and then we'll take our handy dandy radio link. All right. And the radio link is going to go there. It's going to be on receive and it's, oh, I need tomato soup. <laughs> you keep pausing me. <laughs> well, if you just uh, didn't want me to say anything, well, that's fine. I mean, that's... <laughs> the videos tend to be shorter. Okay. Yes. I had a longer one. It was like half an hour here the other day, but. Oh, I know YouTube is just silly like that. All right, let's. Um, all right, maybe what I'll need to do. Let's just uh, turn that off for a minute. I can't because it's now stuck. Okay. Torch. Okay, that's off. It's not what I want and that's fine. All right, so what we'll do is we'll bring down Right, some, some storage network over here. Okay. Okay. I think we're okay. I think this is working. Um, let's go get some, see if we're getting soup over here, or tomato sauce. Sus. Yes, we are. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it when things work. All right. And looks like everything is working. So this should be set to synchronize based off of the inputs, which is great. And then they're all getting fed through the mixer and we've got tomato sauce coming out. So we'll set that frequency to tomato sauce. And I guess, let me run upstairs and make sure that the uh, tomato sauce um, filter is set up on the control board. Ah, but this is great. This is great. We are slowly building up our ingredients pool so that we'll be able to get all of the stuff that we need. Oh, this is wonderful. I love it. I love it. All right, let's grab that, grab this just in case. I can take the elevator from here, which is fine, because this is the floor it's on. Warehouse. <laughs> ah, the nice thing about YouTube Live is you can, uh, you can pause and then come back. Ooh. Yeah, see, we're using the bowls and then we're making them and then putting them back. That's lovely. All right. Tomato sauce. Here we go. I think we're set up here. Um, 
I'm not going to need 10,000 tomato sauce. Let's just dial that back just a touch, huh? In fact, let's take this down to... Oh, well... We'll take it to 256. That should be fine. Okay. All right. Nice. And that'll, it mixes up really fast. So we'll have a lot of tomatoes. In fact, I think the tomato machine should be uh, kicking up again. Yeah, there it goes. Because we just used a bunch of tomatoes. Ah, yeah. Wow, wonderful. See, automation. This is, this is a thing. All right, nice. Oh, this is... <laughs> I know, it's really simple. I just made tomato sauce. How crazy is that? Ouch. That, that door is... Uh... I might want to put a delay on this door. You know, it's... Uh... Wouldn't take much. Just a repeater, like, right here. Okay. Cool. So now that that's all doing what it needs to do, let's uh let's get with the decorating. Okay. Let's put everything down here. Just to make sure all of that get, everything gets put back in the right place. Oh, I do need out of the create toolbox, I do need uh, an andesite casing. Just grab a couple of them. All right, and I don't need the tomatoes so they can go back into storage. Same with the tomato sauce. Okay. So let's go ahead and just encase up all of the stuff because it's going to look better. And while I don't have any... I haven't actually tried to measure it. I think encasing this stuff... Especially the shafts, it decreases the uh, uh, decreases the uh, lag, at least the client side lag of, of rendering all that stuff. Okay, so yeah, so that's all good. We're about to hide all of this stuff. So cool. So this is gonna go this way. Right? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. It does go there, though. All right, and the brick. Brick goes here, though. All right, and now... So I don't think this is going to matter even a little bit, but... We'll go ahead and encase this just to, yeah, maybe it'll look okay, right? Sure, whatever. Um, I think we'll go ahead and extend that. It's not gonna matter, but we'll do it. All right, so Viridium is gonna come up here. That. And the same thing over here, okay. Stick some right there, and right there, but I think I'm gonna have to come in underneath it too. Oh no, 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 no. That shouldn't be Viridium, that should be um, Diorite. At least that one should be. Let's just double check here, because I did, yeah, I did Viridium all back behind here. That would be right here. Okay. And then I need to get some diorite, but cool. So that'll go like that. And then I need the viridium slabs. Slabs, which are going to go right here. I guess I can do this from this side. Okay. Okay, that's going to go like that and then like that. 
And then I just need to get some diorite and some glass. So let's get some, I think the blocks are gonna be what I need here. All right. Yes, yeah, so some cut diorite, and it's polished cut diorite. Oh, done with those. Nice. All right, so, I'm not sure it's gonna matter. Oh, that make that slicer's all up front, so. Okay. Um, this one, things back behind. All right, cool. So this, which I can't jump over the walls, of course. Go like that. And then that would go there, so it's gonna be that way. Of course, that's gonna be there. Like that. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That will work. Alright. And then on this side, I'm gonna, you know, fall down there again, which is cool. All right, I need the same thing. I need the viridium back here. Okay, let's go ahead and encase this. Again, it's not gonna make a huge amount of difference, but I think it's gonna be somewhat important to something. Okay, so that's gonna go there. It's nice to have a uh, design already made up, so I just don't have to think about it. I can just get in here, I can put everything where it needs to be, and just, you know, knock this out really quick. Okay, so that's gonna go up across like that, and we take our polished wall, goes like this. All right. And now, okay, we live down here. So that's not what I wanted to put there. Put a torch there. All right, so, so if that's the uh, cut die, right? There and there and there. Do I have to con continue all the spacing and stuff? No, I don't. But do I want to? Yep, absolutely. Just because it's a fun little, um, just a fun little thing. All right. And it said I need to get some glass to fill in here too, but we'll worry about that in a second. All right. And this one's going to do the same type of thing. Get our bricks. Which are going to come right down here like this. And like this. All right. Yes, someday there will be a world download available. Once the once this world is done, I will make the download available for anybody who wants to play on it uh subscribers or members on kofi uh and i think fourth wall i may let's see if i can make that work too we'll be able to access these for free others will uh so you can buy it for a small fee okay so that's going to come up there like that Okay, that's gonna go there. All right, nice. So again, this one, go there and there and there. Okay, cool. All right, where's our polished? Polished goes there and there and there and all sorts of places that it doesn't go. 
not available or prohibited by law. Okay. Cool. So that'll go there. Which means the polished goes there. There. And let's see. Back out through my super secret, you know, secret. Oh, I forgot the slabs. Slabs. All right. Cool. So that'll go there. And yes, you could slip in there and look past that. But yeah, it's okay. All right. And glass. Panes. Ooh, I don't have much of, the, of that. So. Let's see. Um. Yeah, gray, right? Gray, yep. Well, that wasn't a lot, was it? Um, see what I got in the way of glass. All right, no, gray glass, thank you. All right, that should be, that should be good. All right, well, We'll stick with that. That should be enough glass. Oh, it's, this looks so good when everything's running. Okay, yep. Yeah, the glass sticks to the mixer, which is annoying, but can't really tell, so it's okay. I think it also sticks to the uh, basin, but that's all right. Yeah, all right. All right, we are just about done with this. Okay, oh man, that does look cool. It does, it does, it looks cool. All right, the decorations are now in. So we've got our milk mixer, which is, there you go, another pie crust out there. The only, my only complaint is that these are narrow enough that you don't necessarily see the stuff coming in or going out like you do way over there. But, you know, it's okay. We've got three sets of mixers here now. So the milk one's over there, water one is here, and the non-fluid mixer is right here and this is great so now when we come up here you now we could look around this way looking past the uh our sweet reactor over here and i know it's a little dark let me i can sleep a little it'll it'll help probably a little bit maybe just a touch okay yeah, and so you can just look out and see this bottom floor is pretty much complete. Oh, yeah, and that is great. This is this is fabulous. So now all of the base ingredients that I'm going to need to make all of the foods are here. And that's a door. Don't worry, don't worry about it. I didn't forget to put the the blocks there. Let's just say it's a door. So, yeah. Oh, this is fabulous now. So we can walk around this this factory floor. We've got our honeycomb, our mixers, the mill, the oven, and the slicer, as well as all of our our fluid tanks here. So, oh, man, this is great. This is great. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Oh. Okay. Sweet. I, I know I sound like a McDonald's ad, but I really am loving it. That's not where that's going to go. All right. Let's t tuck back into the factory there. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our... Grab the stuff here and... Huh. We're already done making tomato sauce. Yep. Automation is cool. I just... 
I love automation. So yeah, so if we have come up here with our sauce, 271. Okay, which makes sense. Okay. Because you've got the 256 and then there's a little bit of a delay. I could dial that back to like 200. You know, we'd still be fine. Ooh, all right. So that is that one done. All right, so the mixer stuff is done. The slicer, I need the fish. The mill, we're done. The smoker, um, okay, let's add an item that I didn't have on there. Dough to bread, okay, which is done. All right. So I've got a bunch of things I could be feeding into the the oven, like minced beef patties into cooked beef patties for burgers, for example. Um, raw beef to steak, raw bacon to regular bacon, right? Basically cook all the meats. And then a kelp to cooked kelp. And that is the last of the ingredients. Except for all the fish. All right, so, so yeah, so we're I'm getting close, I'm getting close, but the fish I'm gonna have to set up some f form of fish farm, and I'm not entirely sure how I want that to work or where I even want to put it, right? Because I've got, I I don't know that I want to put it here. In fact, I'll probably end up tearing out that bamboo and sugar cane in the not too distant future, just to uh, when the time comes to actually decorate and set up a restaurant or whatever um that's all probably gonna go but i've got this area over here and so it's got this big river right and you can see the fish hopping around over there so i may end up trying to figure out you know just a classic squid farm might end up being what i need here um that'll give me the salmon and the the uh, squid that i need but it's not going i don't know that it's going to give me the the uh cod right i get the red ones i don't get the brown ones i think is how this is going to work because to get the cod i think i need ocean and man there's a lot of water here um and this is, none of this is, this is all river biome here. This isn't ocean. This is just a really big flipping river. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> but okay, that's, that's fine. We'll figure something out. I mean, it may not be fast, right? If I were to build a squid farm here, this isn't ideal because there's lots of spawning spaces for squid. Oh yeah, the the pre-113 rivers? Man, to see something like this would just be bonkers. But yeah, if I were to take, so that's all scrawny, but if I were to take some of this area over here and build this out into a squid farm, yeah, wow. It's uh kind of dark under here. Okay. Cool. I might actually have to craft up a diving bell and diving helmet and uh oxygen tank. Yeah, but I think this will work. Let me see. Cuz yeah, I should be yeah, some of this is plains biome, which doesn't help much. But yeah, if I come out here where it's all wide. Okay. Yeah, or even out into this area here. Yeah, that would work. That would absolutely work. I'd get all the said all the fish and the, the salmon. 
And I said, cod, I think, is an ocean fish, so... Or maybe it's the other way, and this is the cod. I forgot which is which. Come here, I need to slice you so I know what you are. Okay. I guess take off my boots. Okay. So, yeah, so that's salmon. All right, nice. No, I don't think so. Um, so it's salmon is a river and cod is an, an ocean spawn, right? I'd have to head out to the ocean to verify it, but but I definitely am not getting uh, getting that. Now, I suppose what I could do is eventually head out to the ocean and set that stuff. Am I farming the mob or using the pole? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by using the pole. Oh, the fishing pole. Yeah, so no, I'm going to be... Yeah, so if I use the fishing rod, yes, I can get cod. But if I want to just set up an, a fully automated farm, you know, like you would you set up a squid farm and you get all the, the salmon in it too, that's not going to cut it here. So, yeah, that's going to be a... It's going to be a challenge. But that's why I'm doing this series. It lets me play with some of the... Like, I don't typically care about fish. Right? Fish, I just... I never use them. I don't eat them. They're, they have nothing I need. Squid sometimes. So, there's a farm I just don't build often. Also, I need to do something better than these torches. <laughs> I need some better lighting in here, and I don't know what I want to use. Probably frog lights, but I don't have any of that yet. All right, well, I think that's going to do it. Let's uh, jump over here. I think I actually want to well, we'll just record an outro. Um, I do want to thank all of you for <clears throat> hanging out. Hmm. All right. Yeah, let's just let me record an outro for the video because I think that's just a pretty good bit of, of video content. And then we'll figure out... I'll figure out something to do on Thursday. But... <clears throat> all right. So, to the video outro and then we'll talk a little bit more. And that is going to do it for the video today. I'm excited. We've got lots of good mixer action. We've got bread going now. We've got um, dough, fl you know, flour being made, dough being made, pie crusts, and you know, I love a good pie. So, man, we are, we are rocking here. So, if you like pie, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off. All right, and that would be the end of the video. See, you know. <laughs> so when the video comes out here in about three weeks, you know, you'll be reminded of the stream. And that video, you will be able to pause, Carp, and then it'll pick up and you'll be right back where you were. <laughs> oh, hey, my black kitty, he's so cute. <laughs> uh yes so all right so yeah i need to take a look and figure out what my next uh bit is but i think i'm getting to a point where i could i actually should start looking at um the ceiling birch those are birch logs for those of you who hate birch logs that's what that is, checkerboarded. Now, I really should start looking at things like um, vegetable soup. Because I'm just about out. And I've been sending all of my veggies into the storage system. So, But yeah, isn't this cool, though? I mean, I, 
seriously, we were playing with it on stream a while back, and we tried stripped birch, which just looked wrong. It was, it was the yellow of the birch was just the wrong color. So I, everything is here is kind of a monotone because we've got the deep slate and the diorite down here. So, okay, I put in some of the unstripped logs and we're looking at that and think, you know what? That's not bad. So I threw in a couple of sections checkerboarded like this and it really gives the, that sort of old school um, drop ceiling vibe like you might find like in an office or something like that. That's, and yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just birch. <laughs> it's just birch logs. <laughs> yeah. So again, for those of you who have, who look at birch logs and think, oh, I can't do anything with that. That log is horrible and it's hard to use straight up. Birch logs are hard to use because they're noisy. But I also like this as a carpet in certain situations. Um, it sort of gives you like the, the zebra skin type carpet or something like that. But yeah, it's just, just crazy. And of course, the, these diorite blocks are create mod blocks. The uh, polished and cut diorite. But, which I like. It's a lot closer to like the calcite in vanilla. It, you lose a lot of the noise from the diorite. And instead you get sort of a really nice, clean, uh, white block. So yeah, I've been using blocks I don't typically build with. Diorite and birch logs ah <laughs> okay cool ah well on that note i really need to decide if i want to put something up up there all right i've got this area when i put in the ceiling and it's just empty just void space up here and i don't know if i want to put anything up here or not but for now, it's, I like the look of the windows, so I just left it, but, <sighs> anyway, I think that's going to be it for tonight. <sighs> Started the stream off with a headache. The headache is gone, which is fabulous. <laughs> um, I do want to, of course, point you over at my socials. I'm at Music Free Gaming on Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr. Also, YouTube, obviously. Um, join the Discord. We can chat about stuff off stream. And, of course, if you want to support the channel, you can do so through um, Ko-fi at ko-fi.com slash musicfreegaming or at store.musicfreegaming.com. You can be a, become a member over there. Either place is cool. Um, also, of course, like and subscribe and comment and all of those things to help the algorithm, you know, all that nonsense. And uh, until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music for Gaming signing off. <laughs>